Many people spend much of their workday in Outlook. Because of that, it may be more convenient to file and retrieve items directly from Outlook. With the iManage Work Desktop for Windows integration, the Outlook interface is updated to provide the necessary tools. In this course, we will be exploring the iManage Work Group on the ribbon as well as the EM Task Pane. To view a replica of the iManage Work for Web interface, toggle the Work Panel command on the Home tab. You can customize the navigation labels in the Work Panel by clicking on the gear icon. Choose whether you want to show only icons, only labels, or both. The Work Panel can be undocked, allowing you to navigate to a folder or document while automatically saving your navigation path. Just like the iManage Work Web interface, you can use this panel to access filed items or use the search bar to locate specific items. Type a search term and add any other search criteria, including launching the advanced search options. Press Enter or click on the magnifying glass. Matching results are displayed in the iManage Work panel. Select an item to open or navigate to that location. Click on a file to open it, or click into the search bar to change the search parameters. Recent searches are listed below the search bar. You can clear this list by clicking on Clear Recent Searches. If you know the location of the file you want to access, click on the Browse link to expand Recent Matters, My Matters, and My Favorites. Use the same approach as when working in the web version to expand the iManage tree. Click on the X to close the work panel when it is not needed. Email messages that have been filed to iManage display a check mark and envelope icon. To view more information about the item, click on the Filing Details command on the Home tab. The Filing Details pane opens and displays the metadata for the selected item. Most of the details are locked down, since they were generated based on the email message. If you have the necessary permissions, you can change the security details. From this location, you can change the permissions for the selected item. If you make changes, be sure to click on the Save button at the top of the pane. To view emails that you have filed, open the iManage Work Panel. If Emails is not displayed, click on the navigation arrow to locate the category. Choose between Recently Filed Emails and Emails Filed by Me. Double-click on a saved message to open it in a new window. All of the functionality of Outlook is available from the open message. Select the Kebab menu to see options that can be performed on the message without opening it. Select Preview to display the message in the Work Panel. You can respond to or forward a message directly from the iManage Preview pane by using the toolbar above the preview. Choose Reply, Reply All, or Forward from the panel. In addition, you can open the message in Outlook or download and save the message. If you choose to reply, reply all, or forward the message, it opens as if you launched it directly from your Outlook inbox. The EM task pane provides a quick method for filing the current message. If you do not select a filing location before sending, you will be prompted after clicking on Send. If you do not want to file the message to iManage, click on Send Only. You have an obligation to keep a client's matters up to date. Whether you send or receive messages, if they should be preserved as part of a matter, make sure you file them accordingly. Select a single message or multiple messages and click on Browse and File from the EM task pane. You can search for a location or find a specific client and or matter. Or select a location from the suggested or recent locations that are listed. Make selections from the bottom of the dialog box. Selecting the X will delete the message from Outlook after it is filed. Selecting the key will mark the selected messages as private when filing. The printer option prints the email before filing. 
Remember that these options are sticky and will remain selected until changed by you. Click on File and all selected messages will be filed to the indicated location using the options you chose. You may need to save an email's attachments, but not the message itself. Click on Save Attachments. You can select individual attachments or choose All Attachments. Because multiple attachments have been selected, the only option is to save them as new documents. From the Save As dialog, navigate to the location where you want to save the attachments. Click on Save. Notice that there is no iManage icon associated with this message. That is because the message was not saved in iManage. Only the attachments were filed. In this case, we need to file the attachments to different locations. You can select each file individually and save it to the correct location, or you can select All Attachments and indicate separate filing locations for each. Be sure to uncheck Use Same Destination folder. Click on New Document. You will be prompted for the filing locations for each of the attachments. Because each file will be saved individually, the first file name is displayed. You can use the search bar or select a location from the file tree. Select the folder and then update the profile if needed. Click on Save to file the document in this location and then repeat the process for the additional attachments. After filing an attachment or message, it is possible to move it to a new location. Open the work panel or launch the web version in a browser. Locate the attachment from the recent documents list or by searching for the filing location. Right click on the item or select the kebab menu. Select Move and you will be prompted to navigate to the new filing location. When you have the new location displayed, click on Move. The file is moved from the original location into the new one. If the work panel displays a blank dialog box, click on Refresh. If that does not address the issue, click on Copy Details to Clipboard and email the information to your iManage administrator. Rather than saving an attachment as a new document, you may need to save it as a new version of an existing one. Attachments can be saved without opening the email message. Click on Save Attachments on the iManage Work toolbar. If the message contains more than one attachment, select only one at a time. Choose New Version. Locate the original iManage file and click on Select. Notice that the Comments field is automatically populated with the email information. This field can be edited if desired. Click on Save and the document is added as a new version of the selected file. In another lesson, we explored sending a file as an email attachment from within Word or other Office application. You can reverse the process and first create the message in Outlook and then add the attachment from iManage. Create your email message and then click on Insert iManage Attachment from the Message tab. Using the Select dialog box, locate the iManage document. If you want to make sure you have selected the correct file, open the Details pane and click on Preview. If the file has multiple versions, click on the Versions tab. Select the version you want to attach. When you are ready, click on Attach File or the drop-down next to it for additional options. You can attach a link for those who have access to your iManage database. Or you can include the file and a link in case any of the recipients do not have an iManage account. In this case, a copy of the document is attached as well as the link to the iManage file. A link is the preferred method for sharing documents internally since it ensures that the recipient is always accessing the latest changes in the linked file.